Yeah, it's a 29. It's this thing here. Okay, so the first concept is that you have to be able to spell this word right, which I couldn't do till like three years ago. Okay, equilibrant. I always thought there was another I, like equilibrant, which is more fun to say. You know, it's kind of like Francisco, right? Okay, but there's not, right? It's just equilibrant. Can we be more quiet than that? We'll have plenty of time to chat, but let's not do it now. I'd love to do that not on YouTube, but you know, as it were. Okay, so anyway, here's the concept. Um, basically, it's the equilibrant is a force that you add to put the system in equilibrium. Equilibrium means that the forces add up to zero, that it's not accelerating. So a really simple idea of this is, if I exert 23 Newtons that way, how do we put this in equilibrium? 23 the other way, right? Could be a friction force or something like that, right? Okay. This gets more complex, though, if we've got, instead of just one force, we've got, like, two forces. Right? Okay. If we've got two forces, what we have to do, basically, is figure out what the sum of these forces might be, which is, might be, like, this guy, right? And then, once we do that, the equilibrium is opposite that, right? Yeah? So what we have to do is, of course, do that with vectors. We can't just draw it. We've got to be able to, like, you know, calculate it or something like that, right? Okay. So basically, the equilibrant is equal to negative the sum of all the forces, right? If we add up all the forces, right, and we find the negative of that, it's just that simple. So it's really just vector addition, only it's like vector addition's evil twin kind of a thing. Yeah? Okay, so let me show you how to do this without making embarrassing mistakes. Okay, so this guy's 23 newtons, 29 degrees. That's 56 newtons. Uh, I'm sorry, 14 newtons at 56 degrees, right? And uh, I call this one B, and one I call this one A, right? So what I'm going to do is set it up like this: A, B. Where's my, I've got to find my, uh, got to find some surreptitious way to get people to pay attention. Like, oh, you're just chatting a little bit. Okay, so, all right, there we go. Okay, magnitude, angle, there we go. I suppose that's going to come back at me. I better look out. Yeah. yeah. Say it again. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This little F right here, this guy is the equilibrium, right? So we're trying to figure out what F is. Yeah? Yeah, we're going to do that. That is the problem, is to find what F is that puts it in equilibrium, right? We're calculating F. That's the point. Yeah? Okay, so. We're going to throw those around now. Here, toss them back up here. There you go. There you go. Thank you. All right. Okay. So the magnitude of A is 23 newtons, right? Magnitude of B is 14 newtons. Okay. And then for angle here, we really want the trig angle. So A is the trig angle. This is anti-clockwise from the x-axis, right? So A is actually is 29 degrees, right? B is going to be. I think that's going to be. This is 180, right? So that's going to be 180 minus 56. Is that 124? There we go, okay. So now we're good. Now we're going to find the X component, and we're going to find the Y component. Right? And then ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to find what A plus B is. Right? And then, of course, we're going to find the opposite of A plus B. That'll be easy. We'll just add a minus sign or a plus sign or something like that, right? This will be the equilibrium, right? Yeah, it's going to be F in the drawing up there, right? Okay, so once we do this, once we are in reliably, once we are reliably in, radi or in degrees, right, 
then we should be in good shape. Oh, actually, let me check to make sure I haven't done my signature mistake, which is to mix up the angles. Like, I'll put this angle with this one by mistake. I haven't done that, so I'm good. 23. If you do that, by the way, I've already done that many times. So this guy is 20.116. And then this guy, and what I'm doing is I'm doing 23 cos 29 for those of you with such short memories. And this is 23 sine 29. Okay. And then this guy is going to be 14. So this is 23 sine 29. This is going to be 14 cos 124. I'm expecting a negative number there, right? Right, because this guy's got a component that's just a little bit, it's small to the left. It's going to have a big upward component, right? So 14 sine 124 should be positive and bigger, right? And indeed it is, right? And then A should have a lot of X component, not so much Y component. Are we good so far? And then we're just going to add these up. That's 12.287. And then 11.151. Right, so that's the sum of the vectors. The equilibrant is negative the sum. So it's going to be negative 12.287 and negative 22.758. Right? And if we draw a picture of it, it's going to be down 22.758. So it's almost as long as that straight down. And then it's to the left 12. All right, so 22.758, 12.287. There it is. So this is the equilibrant. The equilibrant. Right? The equilibrium has a magnitude of twelve point two eight seven squared plus twenty two point seven five eight squared. And that's, uh, what, 25.9 newtons. I know we only have like two sig figs, but there's three, right? And then we could find this angle here, right? That angle there is going to be inverse tan of 12.287 over 22.758. It's a second tan. Opposite over adjacent. I'm pretty. I think we're good. So that angle is like 28.4. And, and I would believe it. That looks like an adorable angle, and it is, right? Ta -da. That's not so hard, is it? So schwer ist das nicht, yeah? Let's have you guys try this. So have y'all try this. See how we did. Did we do it right? Found that angle just for fun. Try that one. Try that one. 